what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel I got a 14 with battery light and 96,000 miles and I'm pulling it in my stall so I haven't even gotten out to look at it I want to go over that stuff with you guys so let's get underneath this pig and see what's going on all right let's get about this boy I'm gonna go around to the front we got any wetness down here? No, I think we'll be all right. All right, I'm gonna lay down. Let's see here, I do got some oil. Let me, uh, let me get my creep. All right, we on the creep. This, I'm gonna have to bend this up a little bit. Uh, all right, let me get totally under here. All right, so my first common spots and I'm going to show you right now. I mean, I haven't even gotten up underneath here. Um, let me turn this light on. All right. Well, first off and foremost, we got what appears to be either an upper oil pan or, as you can see up there, vacuum pump gasket leak right way up in there. Um, but let's see if I can key in on where we have our main wiring issues for the alternator. This is my most common spot. You can even see the green corrosion coming from around this zip tie here. And sometimes they are brittle and will just break. Let's see if I can see if I can do that. See if we can bust this zip tie. I'd get Rich's cutters, but I don't feel like getting up in there. Alright, let's see. We stretched it out a little bit. Here is our red. Is it our red that's messed up? I can't tell. You guys got a better view than I do. Let's see here. Sometimes it's the red. Sometimes it's the it's the yellow. All right, let me get my little cutter so I can cut that zip tie. Okay, I popped my little zippy out. Let's see if we can, there we go, that's what I wanted to do. Get that guy out of my way. Let's see if I can pull the rest of it out. Heck yeah. Ugh. All right, got it. So now let's get our pocket screwdriver here and pop up these wires that are going to our al our alternator slash generator, whatever you want to call it. Look at that, you guys. I get so many emails and questions regarding battery lights on these six sevens and all oh, the dealers they put alternators in it and they put batteries in it I'm gonna tell everyone who's watching right now since these trucks have come out I have not replaced one alternator that's 2011 to 2020 that's seven years of being in service maybe even the latter ones that were built at the end of 10 labeled as 11s I have never replaced alternators. It has always been the wiring. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link the other videos uh, that I've made for the other circuits on different trucks in different locations, so that you all can be uh, on the uh, up and up on where and what to fix when your battery light comes on your 6.7. So I'm not gonna show me fixing this because uh, I just gotta put two wires together and then make it look like nobody's ever been in there and I'm gonna ship it out on, on the road. So note to self and uh, take a look at your duty. Telltale signs, look for that green corrosion on them zip ties. All right, you guys, tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. If anybody's ever had to do this to their super duty or have you brought it to me and I fixed yours? Smash that like and sub, guys. I'll see you next Friday. Thanks so much for watching. See ya! Ooh, look at that oily.